Okay guys, welcome back. I'm here on the GitHub page for APK Bleach and right here on the README, you can see a new screenshot for the new deployment UI feature that just got added. And um, you can see a little app icon at the top and it's a little drop down menu and you can navigate to apps that way or you can uh, just scroll the page and find the app that you want to use. And it's got a description and it's got some data on the application itself. Uh, to use in a social engineering attack um, for deployment of your payloads. So um, I'm going to get right into this and try to keep this short. Uh, it's not going to be like my other videos where we give uh, thorough exp explanations or anything like that. But if you are unfamiliar with APK Bleach, I'll leave a card up at the top to my previous video where we talk about it in depth. Uh, but on this one, we're just going to try to keep it to a demo. So we're going to clone this repository and move right into it. And if I look inside of it, I can see I have an install script. Give that permissions. And after a successful install, um, we go, can go ahead and move to our home folder or pretty much wherever we want to move to. And then let's look at some usage for the new feature on APK Bleach. So you'll know that you got the newest version because you'll have the new deploy all flag here. And it says deploys each available icon as a payload with the Apache 2 server with a web interface. So um, APK Bleach comes with seven default icons inside of its icons folder. And it's going to take each one of those icons and it's going to make it a payload. Um, it's going to inject the icon and it's going to do all the normal APK Bleach features. And then it's going to make that web interface that I showed you earlier, that little um, screenshot. And, um, and it's going to push all those payloads onto that user interface there for social engineering. Now up here at the top, I have another example of usage of the deployment feature. And you'll notice that there is no TAC O option and there's no TAC I option. And in the future, I'll be able to add the TAC I option. But for now, um, the cheap and easy way for me to code this was to just take all the default icons that I already had and turn those into payloads and then push that onto the web interface. It would take a little bit more coding to have somebody give me a custom icon and push that onto the interface itself. So not only inject your custom icon, which is already a feature on APK Bleach, but with a deployment feature to, to inject your custom icon and then push that over to the user interface as well will take a little bit more coding. But uh, in the future, when this software gets a little bit more um, momentum or notoriety, and I know that my efforts aren't in vain, I can go ahead and code that up. But for now, it's just going to be you're going to leave the attack I option off and the same with attack O option. And that's because it's using the Apache server and in the Apache server, it uses the var www HTML folder. And that's where the files have to be to be served up. So the deployment UI is looking for those files to be there. Um, so other than that, everything will be the same. You can still use stealth mode and you can still use the edit permissions. So let's clear this up and get right into this. Um, APK bleach, I'm going to generate a payload here. And then I'm going to use the, the stealth mode option on this. And if you don't know what stealth mode is, all that does is instead of doing what the default um, Metasploit payload does is launch the payload as soon as you open the app. This doesn't just do that, that actually eliminates that completely and it waits for accelerometer activity off the device. So as soon as the accelerometer, accelerometer is triggered by moving it around or whatnot, you know, to loosely put it without getting into it too deep. Um, as soon as the accelerometer gets triggered, then it deploys the payload. And the advantage of that is we can set how many payloads we want. And so in this case, or our sessions we want, and in this case, we're gonna do um, we're going to do three sessions right off the bat. So the user doesn't have to click the icon three times. It's just as soon as the app gets um, executed and the accelerometer trigger goes off, then it's automatically going to spawn three sessions. We're also going to use edit permissions and then deploy all. 
And it's really that easy. Assuming I don't have any typos in there, that should move right through this pretty quick. Um, okay, permission editing mode. We are going to keep these. There's only a couple I want to take off. Um, of course, location, find location. Wallpapers, wherever that, yeah. That one. And we're going to keep the rest of these. Okay, now you can see it's building a server here. And as soon as it's done building a server, it's going to give us a message that's kind of important. Yeah, so here um, it says, Info, use control C to shut down the deployment server and restore defaults. And this is kind of important because, or important because technically you could control Z and interrupt this script, but that wouldn't, that's not the best way to do this because um, it exits the script differently and it's looking for control C and that will take all of the, so what this pretty much did was take everything that was already in var www HTML and backed it up and then pushed the APK bleach files into var www HTML. And so when you control C, it's gonna take all of APK bleach and take it out and it's gonna restore the backup folder that it had of, of whatever you had inside of HTML if you had anything. If you control Z out of it, um, it will not do that. You'll just have a backup HTML folder. And you know that might not matter if you don't do any web development or you don't write HTML code or anything like that, it might not matter. But um, if you just wanted to fix that, you could just run it again and hit control C and it'll restore your backup folder and whatever was inside of it. So now that this uh, server is running, we go ahead and we open up our Android device, go to a browser and go to our server. And this could be a website for you. I don't know how this is just for my local host on the example. Here's our pretty little social engineering interface. Um, drop down the drop down menu and you look at inside of the applications, you'll have five applications and you'll have two services for a total of seven, right? Um, we're going to use the droid lock and you can see here, oh, get that out of the way. Um, droid lock and it's got the icon and it says cybercrime is on the rise and with the advancements in technology don't let criminals steal personal data with proximity devices and then it's got some you know more convincing stuff around it we're just gonna hit the install button for this open it up or oh, before we completely open it up let's pull up the msf console that i already have with the uh, matching payload um matching um, IP address matching port and you can see that there are no active sessions running and then now let's install this app open it up and continue and you can see that just like I said we've spawned three sessions right off the bat and then there is our icon and we can move right in and interact with Say we have sending stage for session three and then throw the wake lock on it and then come back over to our and assuming that we're done with our server, we control C and then it shuts down and that's complete. And that's uh, the deployment UI feature for APK Bleach. I hope you guys like it.